going on everybody this is your boy inside 11 and right now man we're talking about how to process deep emotional pain uh deep fixated rude ways of feeling about the world due to you or me going through a traumatic event and a traumatic experience that we have yet to process you see what happens is that when we don't deal with traumatic events when we don't process the pain the imprint the fear, the phobia, the hate, the worry, the doubt. When you are unable to process that pain, what happens is your brain shuts down an aspect of yourself in order for it uh, to lead to the preservation of the self. Because if you cannot handle, if you cannot deal with pain, with the pain that life gives you through whatever circumstance, people, places, and things that you dealt with, it will create an energy imprint upon your soul body so your spirit will not be able to move through that soul and renew it due to that pain being pent up in that area and things of that nature so we want to learn how to process and identify and deal with traumatic experiences that lead to non-benevolent circumstances and experiences and situations people places and things because you know when we're in a when we're in a very deep pain and I don't mean deep pain as in you're deeply hurt and you no I'm, I'm talking about something that is below the unconscious subconscious threshold right now you're watching this video or doing whatever you're doing you're consciously aware of life of life you have to wake up in the morning do what you do blah 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 but because of a lack of ability to process what you've been through you're gonna find yourself developing ways of going around that pain rather than you actually dealing with that core pain which is a disposition in you that is non-benevolent for you so you know whenever you want to do something in life that's for you and you know you start sweating you start developing a biological reaction because you don't want to release the trauma that's hiding within your body but little do you know when you actually reverse this trauma, you actually create more room inside of your soul, inside of your God body, your God vessel, for you to experience and be more. This is why, you know, in tarot, you have the allegory of the empty cup and the full cup and things like that. This is why people talk about being able to replace the water in your body with water, not necessarily from outside of your body, but new water, you know? Like Jesus says in the Bible, um, he says he talks about putting wine in a new wine skin, but putting bad wine in old wine. No, putting new wine in old wine skin is bad, but but you got to be careful of also putting uh, old wine in new wine skin because that's also bad. So we, what we want to do is we want to be able to process this pain. We want to be able to process our experiences that. Are currently living within us that prevent us from accelerating and optimizing our life's goal and our mission here because all people on earth are subconsciously or unconsciously aware of what they want to do since they was since they were little you know because it's an attribute and it's a characteristics and a characteristic that reside within you but one of the reasons why we can't express those attributes and characteristics is because of this hidden shame this hidden guilt this hidden fear this subconscious underlining phobia that we don't address very on early in life so we end up playing that out later in life and you know the shattered government which is the people that run the world they give you guys positions and antidotes for you guys to you know not have to deal with that pain and make it look like hey it's okay to be hurt it's okay to you know be suicidal Call the suicidal prevention hotline, things like that. But people in life don't address, you know, the subconscious underlining reasoning behind why this happens in the first place. See, the reason why you're running from your life right now, the reason why you're running away from the challenges that life presents you through people, places, and things is because you are unable to process that subconscious pain. So therefore, you cannot gain new people new places new things you keep repeating the same cycle 
again and again and again. And we want to be able to learn how to get how to get out of this pain. We don't, we, we don't, we don't want to be stuck in trauma. We don't want to be stuck in phobia. We want to be open. Not, not, I'm not necessarily saying be open for all spirits within this atmosphere. What I'm telling you is learn how to process the disposition that you have accumulated while on this earth and while you were in your mother's womb. Because even your mother and father, they were traumatized. They were hurt. They were cursed. And so, you know, I would never tell anybody that having a kid is a bad negative thing or anything like that. But a lot of the times we have children that are still traumatized. Children that are still going through that pain that we went through. But we don't see it in them because it play out differently. And since we experience that pain ourselves, we think it's a regular thing. And in fact, most people think that pain is normal guilt is normal shame is normal you know depending on if you were raised under the abrahamic banner of gods you know they will they will tell you things like oh you got to you know go to church every sunday if you're a muslim like me you will be told you need to go to the mosque five times a day and pray and allah will give you his blessing and you're not going to have to worry about the things that are the regular average mortal has to worry about. But all that is untrue because all somebody has shown you is just a, wi a wishy-washy way of dealing with your self. Because you're, trying to, you're here to learn how to deal with yourself. The Father, God, knows that. Knows that we're still in these like dark traumatic experiences. So we're not ready or we're not able to receive our god bodies our bodies that are you know not flesh and blood but but it's a light and is a frequent and is constantly transforming see you're supposed to be constantly transforming you're not supposed to be here sitting still in the corner worried afraid oh i don't know what to do being indecisive like me and things like that see i used to go through these things and i still do but because I learned how to process these things better, I'm able to overcome what what I call the devil, which is just your opposition, which is, which is just Satan, which is just a thought or a feeling that you create that is an opposition for you. Now, why in God's beautiful green earth would you create a thought and a feeling that is in opposition to you? So let's say, you know, you want to, you know, you look in the mirror, you know, ah, oh, man, you know, Man, I'm kind of fat, like, I want to lose some weight, you know? I got to get this weight off of me, and whatever, and things like that. But you don't end up going through the process of losing weight, because then you're going to create another thought and another feeling that says, ah, oh, nah, you know, this is not really for me, dieting, you know, I'm more of like a Dunkin', Dunkin Cream Donut type of person, you know, working is not for me, you know, I've tried this two years ago, it didn't work. You know, yeah, it didn't work because you didn't actually work it. You probably gave up early. You didn't go through the process and things like that. So whenever we're trying to take on new experiences, we learn new things. And we have to be accepting of those new things. This is how humans even evolve and go on to being, you know, the, the civilization of, of a golden age and things like that. Because that civilization was able to process what the last civilization before them didn't do right or what they're currently not do they're not stuck in belief you know you know brother we're gonna praise the mayan god brother and the agriculture next year brother is gonna come out all glowing brother you know they they had a science they had a spiritual system they had mathematics they had they didn't have a theory they had systems to show them the results of what they was producing and when they saw the results of what they was producing, they, then they were able to intelligently change course based on a decision that was decisive. Not a, not a wishy-washy decision, not, oh, you know, maybe, maybe, brother, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't know. Don't ever tell yourself something like, I don't know, because now you have spoken that into your reality. Now you're actually going to think and ponder about why you don't know ah oh, you know i don't know because you know my, my my dad didn't teach me how the white man world works brother 
you know, whatever excuse, because all these are just excuses. All these are just wishy-washy reasons about why we don't go ahead and actually begin to process these uh, traumas, these hidden phobias, these fears. We keep going around the problem. We keep hitting the brick wall and things like that. But we're not seeing why we keep going in that same direction. You know, if you want to lose weight and you had a process, okay, then, then you go ahead and you improve that process. You know, you don't just give up. Okay, losing weight doesn't work. I guess the health fitness industry lied to me. I'm sure there's a lot of gimmicks. I'm sure there's a lot of scams. I'm sure there's all that. But when you pay attention to how you stop yourself from reaching your goals and you begin to process that and you stop running away from what's real to you, like, you know, like, you know it, like, you know in your heart, you know in your heart you didn't run for 10, 30 minutes on the treadmill per day and you're talking about I didn't lose weight. Duh, you think? So you're supposed to just lose weight by thinking and feeling good? Ah, uh, you know, I'm just gonna think and feel good about my belly and, you know, brother, my belly's gonna disappear because I'm thinking positive. Now, uh, you can be the fattest person in the world, okay? And that's okay. You can still find a way to feel good about yourself because you just gotta hack your own brain, hack your own biology, kill yourself otherwise. That, no, I'm still the baddest motherfucking thing on the planet and things like that. But we got to begin avoiding the problem in the first place. The process we use might be a shitty process. It might not be an effective process. And even I might have to look at the videos that I make. I might have to start to understand, okay, maybe expressing things with this lexicon, with these words, is not the most effective way to reach the average individual who's going through what I'm going through in my age, right? So... I must begin the process of change. I must begin the process of implementing something new and, and seeing the results of that new implementation. And then, boom, when you do that, you start developing, you know, not a theory, like my good brother, Brother Will likes to say, a theorem, which is what the Greeks call uh, a solidified truth, something that you can back up with a claim, something that you can show on paper again and again and again. Look, this system works. I've improved it. I have processed myself through it. I have other people have processed themselves through it and they were able to achieve results. So therefore, I no longer have a wishy-washy theory about losing weight. I no longer have a wishy-washy theory about processing traumatic events. Now I have a true way of processing my traumatic events and things like that. So we gotta if you see something in life tomorrow that you know you feel like, oh, I shouldn't do that. Oh, I don't know how. Yeah, chances are some, you had some tr experience. You had some experience, some form of, you know, whatever when you was a child that led you to believe that when you grow up, you're not going to be able to do that thing. That you, that you know when you was a kid, you was very excited about, you was very happy to do, and you had a very childish attitude. You had this new refreshing way but somebody took away you know your sense of freshness your swagger you know your uh for girls is jiggle for men is a wiggle so somebody took away your wiggle and for the females somebody took away the way you jiggle because i promise you the way you wiggle the way you jiggle is so unique it's so attractive it's so beautiful and it's unique to your own dna imprint meaning nobody else on the planet has a lot of people don't go through the same traumatic experience that you do. A lot of people don't correlate and formulate their life the same way that you do. Nobody does the same thing that you do. Now, some people might do it, you know, but they're not going to do it the exact same way you do it. And that's what makes it your swagger. I've never seen two rap artists rap the same, except for this bullshit ass, modern, hip hop, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Y'all know this shit. The Island Boys, whatever, whoever y'all idols are. I don't participate in that culture because, you know, I got my own culture. I know, I know how to participate with loving myself and loving the people, places, and things outside of me that I participate with. See, I don't watch Netflix. I know people who do something similar to Netflix, like streaming, and I participate in their shows because 
their intention is benevolent towards me. But when I sit down and watch Netflix, I don't know what this person is trying to tell me. This person might be trying to tell me, hey, black man, go be gay because every black man now is gay. So you should be gay. You should just go conform. You should go fit in. Hey, being gay is the cool thing. And you say, okay, I want to go be gay because, you know, it's popular. It's, you know, seen as okay. It's But all that shit comes from trauma. All that shit comes from pain that you haven't dealt with. All those thoughts and feelings come from problems you haven't dealt with. Because most men nowadays don't even have the attribute and the characteristics that it takes for you to even have a wife. You gotta understand that the dominant culture is literally genetically modifying your mind in order to fit the narrative that they want to create so that they can create the society and the type of man and woman that they want to create. So you got to have a narrative for yourself. But to have a narrative for yourself, you got to be able to heal yourself. So if you are unable to heal the self, you will go around the problem and you will go for a fake solution and then you will say, praise Jesus, brother. Someone took me away from my pain and I'm no, and I'm no longer dealing with that problem. But that problem is going to come again. And it's going to come again. And it's going to knock at your door again. And it's going to knock again and again. Until you deal with it. I don't give a damn if you run away from it in this lifetime. It's going to chase you to your next damn lifetime until you deal with it. You think, you think the people within the government, they're smarter than you. They know, they know, they know, they know that you don't want to deal with your own pain. They know they don't want, you don't want to deal with your own subconscious hidden phobias. They know. They know that, that everybody lacks something in their life. So they can be the person that show you that image, that representation of that lack. And you go jump, jump into it as a mind and start to participate in that. Man, that is not a healthy solution. That is not a healthy solution. Look at the, look at the health industry they have created. They don't heal shit. They just, you know... Give you a temporary, you know, solution to get your blood back into flow or whatever, you know, to, to create that unblock. But little do you know that now that you took that pill, that pill is getting ready to create more blocks throughout your body. And you're able to take more solutions in the form of pills from the medical industry. And since you trust them and they have the credentials, you're likely to take the solutions over you know over you know this good brother right here so you know we got to get in touch back with our god self we got to get in touch back with our original identity before this trauma before this pain before this disbelief before all this doubt when i was a child i didn't doubt myself i wasn't worried sure i still had sure i still had some cells in me that are traumatized from my mother and father and based on me as a spirit being aware of that bloodline and participating in in it as a cell and then coming out with this third dimensional body and vessel sure but we gotta understand that if we don't deal with this pain this pain is gonna chase you forever now i'm really trying to help you i'm really 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 trying to help you because if you don't deal with your pain you will be chased by it forever in fact you're gonna go you're gonna go you're gonna, you're gonna dream about it god's gonna show you your fucking fear because you don't want to deal with it. So God is like, okay, so this means this nigga must want more fear. He must, he, he just, God's going to, the universe is going to be like, he just must like being worried. This person just must like being in fear. This person must just like hating themselves. So the universe is going to give you more and more and more of that. Well, we got to understand the reason why we even do that to ourselves in the first place is because we don't deal with the things that make us feel bad about ourselves. And then we sink ourselves like Kanye, you know, whatever they call it. Yeah, the sunken place. And we never come out of that place. We just sit back in our own subconsciousness and we just let the world take us away. Oh, praise Jesus, brother. Oh, go to church on Sunday? Oh, yeah, praise Jesus, brother. So now you have stopped participating in your life. And now you're sitting back and you're letting this entity, this entity, this thought form, this feeling participate for you. But it is not you. It's just something that you've assimilated into you. And you must disassimilate and disassociate with that thing 
Because it's not benevolent for you. And it's not beneficial for your destiny, for your individual path, and all that good stuff. So now we've talked about the topic, and now we've got to discuss the solution as well. So I'm partnering up with Massachusetts, Massachusetts 33, because you know he has a lot of great programs that can assist you with processing this pain. They can assist you with processing this trauma. They can assist you with getting rid of these unconscious hidden beliefs and phobias. Because once you release that negative space within you, now you can add more. You can you can start to use, you can start you can start adding things. You can start thinking about dope things. You know, cool ass things like like I'm dope, like I'm happy, like I'm in love with myself. Things like that. Things that to begin to accumulate like a snowball effect, and you really begin to become that thing. Because your mind doesn't give a fuck what you put in it. He only cares what you frequently repeat in your mind. That's what frequency means. Frequency means whatever you frequently repeat. And whatever you frequently repeat, that will become your destiny. That will become your reality via you signing a contract with that mentality. It's very, very simple. The solution is very, very, very simple. Check out the link below. You know, we have products, services, and information that can assist you with processing this fear, this phobia, because when you process that hidden fear, when you process that phobia, you will be shining, you will be grinding, you will be glowing, because you will create a new destiny. You will no longer self serve, serve that self-serving demon that's trying to get you in this state of mind instead of you resonating with your God design. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you for watching. Check out the link in the description, and you know, more and more powerful information will come out soon, because I'm always going to be vibrating on this frequency, no matter what the external world tries to tell me, because I'm a programmer of my inner world. Brothers and sisters, I will see you infinitely on the next video.